Happy 2023. As we enter a new year for VTubing, I've made a list of 10 of the best VTubing tools coming into this year. Most of these are free, but they are not all used specifically for VTubing. I've included some tools for 2D VTubers, 3D VTubers, and general content creation. I've also included some hardware and some software. There might be a couple things on this list that surprise you, so stick around. So without further ado, the first section is made up of VTuber model creation and animation. So number one on the list is Vroid Studio. This is by far one of the best and easiest ways to get started in VTubing. I've mentioned it several times on my channel already, but here's a brief summary. It allows you to create a full 3D anime style character, complete with bones, expressions, and all the out of the box features a VTuber model requires. It is very easy to pick up and very rewarding if you spend some time learning the ins and outs of all the different features available. It's also free on Steam and constantly gets updates. The next tool on the list is Live 2D and it is the standard for making high quality 2D VTuber models. It takes quite some time to learn and produce a VTuber model but is also very rewarding. I personally haven't used this program but if you have seen any 2D VTubers there is a high chance it was made with Live 2D. There is a free and pro version available on the official Live 2D website. I'll leave a link for this as well as every tool I talk about in the description down below. The third tool on my list is VC Face. It is, in my opinion, one of the best 3D VTubing applications with a wide range of configurations and features. It also can be hooked into other programs easily if you want to use something like Twitch Redeems or Hand Tracking. The quickest way to jump into VC Face is to import the VRM file which you exported from Vroid Studio, but any VRM model should work. There are also some advanced features that you can add onto your model in VC Face with the help of another tool which I will mention later in this list. My fourth recommended tool is VMagic Mirror. It is a simple program that places a 3D VTuber model at a keyboard and mouse setup. This is great for gaming live streams because it animates your gaming inputs live, which could be nice for competitive streams or even just casual content. It does not have nearly as much customization as VC Face, but is still a great program to use on different occasions to change things up. And number five is VTube Studio. This is the 2D equivalent of VC face. What it does is animate a live 2D model in real time based on your tracking you have set up. The only downside to VTube Studio is that it can only animate whatever has been created onto the model in live 2D. So for something like hair movement that needs to be rigged in live 2D for it to work in VTube Studio. You can also program toggles which will play animations or change your expression with the press of a button. Now onto the next section is some tools that help expand creativity and customize your setup. Number six on the list is Photoshop, GIMP, Sketchbook or any other art program that allows you to edit and manipulate images. Although an art program is not exclusively used for VTubing, there are many ways you can use one. You can create concepts for artists, customize your own textures for 2D or 3D models, draw up some backgrounds, create thumbnails for videos, or compile images for your different social media platforms. Here I would suggest doing some research on a bunch of different art programs and choose one or two that you're going to try out and learn thoroughly. Personally, I use GIMP because it mimics a lot of the features of Photoshop without the monthly subscription to Adobe. The seventh tool I've selected is Unity. While it was created as a game development engine, it has a lot of features that can be very helpful for 3D VTubing. There is an add-on called HANA tool, adds the extra blend shapes or expressions to a 3D VTuber model, make it compatible with precision face tracking. While this is not needed, it greatly improves the quality of the animation provided by most VTubing software. You can also attach any 3D objects to your model. Just be sure that they are laid on the correct body part within the hierarchy. Another use for Unity is creating 3D environments and using them as backgrounds for your model like I have here. You can get free 3D objects from the Unity Asset Store to create a virtual room-like environment. And once you've created a 3D scene, simply position the camera and hit play and take a screenshot of the game view. The best part about this is that you can move the camera around and get different angles of your scene which you could use to set up different virtual camera angles. And this leads me on to the third and final section of tools which I would classify as tools that tie everything together. So number eight on the list is OBS Studio. This is your all-in-one recording, live streaming, and virtual camera software that you can use for producing all your video VTubing content. It allows you to create multiple scenes, insert many image, video, audio, and animated sources, and layer them however you wish. If you take the time to learn the program, it is extremely powerful, and in combination with some of the other tools, you can set up multiple different live angles that you can easily switch between with custom hotkeys or macros. On a side note, try and stay away from Streamlabs OBS or 
blobs because they tend to take months to update after the main source OBS as just a fork branch of it. It also doesn't support plugins, which are very useful for customizing your scenes. Now getting near the end, the ninth tool on my list is a piece of hardware that has massive potential and so many streamers underutilize, which is a stream deck. There is so much a stream deck can do other than change scenes in a live stream. There is a full app store for a bunch of different programs that have their own controls that can be programmed on a stream deck. One of the best features is something called a multi-action, which basically lets you set up a macro to trigger a bunch of different switches or controls with the press of a single button. A great example of this is setting up different camera angles in VC face and creating different angled view scenes in OBS, then using a multi-action to change the scene and the model view at the same time. The tenth and final tool on my list is a notebook, specifically a paper notebook. Writing down ideas and planning is probably the most important part of being a VTuber and content creator. I have several notebooks on my desk that I use very often whenever I get a new idea or want to plan some videos. As a VTuber, we tend to spend a lot of time staring at a monitor, so taking a break to write down some ideas and plan future endeavors is important. Here you can also write down some of your goals so you have a physical copy of what you're working towards and trying to achieve. And here is a bonus tool. You might want to consider an editing software such as Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro, or DaVinci Resolve. If you're starting out, you'll probably need to edit your own content, so it's a good idea to learn one of these programs to improve the quality of the videos you create. A good combo here, if you have some spare cash, is Adobe Creative Cloud, which comes with Photoshop and Premiere. If you're a student, you could also get a discount. Personally, I use DaVinci Resolve because it's a one-time purchase for a lifetime studio license. There is also a free version if you want to try it out. That's it for this video. If you think there's any tool I missed, please leave a comment down below. And while you're down there, leave a like if this video helped you out in any way and subscribe for some more VTube content. YouTube thinks that you should probably check out this awesome video I made, so go ahead and watch it.